Surprise! Welcome back to Lucas Island for episode 12 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I know, it's incredible, we're back. How long are we going to be back for? I don't know. Uh, these videos, at this point, depends when you're watching this series. Uh, I'm actually away for a few days, so I'm trying to, hopefully I'll have two or three maybe of these recorded to post while I'm away. But what has happened on Lucas Island since we've kind of been away from it? A couple of things have happened. One, we have had contact with people. I have been moving all of my gear that we got in the last delivery, sort of tidying it all up. So I've got all my grass making paraphernalia, uh, the loading wagon that we've got, we've got our windrower, we've got our tether, I think it's that way around. We've got our trailer that we're going to be using. Now, we have got straw tucked away in our silo. I'm trying to remember, it's been such a long time since we've been on it. And we've got our two little silage clamps that have got silage in. So we've got straw, we've got silage. And we were offered a while back, the next time the ship comes by, if we want to, there's a couple of cows going that we can have. Only a couple, but it's all we need for the time being. We've got the pigs, we've got the chickens, so we've got meat of some description we've got eggs uh we've got the coconuts we've got various different things we can be we can be doing we've got potatoes that we stored so we've got potatoes as well cows will be great for milk as well so we're going to be doing that but we've also had contact with people so i've built a little um pasture i guess you want to call it for the cows to go in now, what I also realised was, and I think I mentioned in the last episode on here, was I hadn't, I didn't reorder, reorder? I didn't order a bigger cedar. Uh, we've got that lovely Deutz Alice, which I'd love. We're going to be using that in a moment. And I didn't, I'd forgot about cedar. So the next time ship comes past, we should have two cows, which we're we going to put in here. This has just been made bits of odds and ends we found laying around the place old trough, a few bits of wood we've carved, a couple of barrels, that kind of thing. You know how it, how it works. Uh, but this is the important thing. So, we had contact from the outside world other than ship's captains, so to speak. And this was from Joe. Uh, so Joe had got in touch over the radio and said that he's recently taken over um, one of the all-in-one franchises, which he's finding to be very profitable. And would it be possible to place an office and collection centre on Lucas Island to hopefully get business up and running again somewhere? So here at the docks, it's a distribution centre as well, so I can bring stuff to here, which can be shipped off island if you want to. If stuff's coming in, you know, it's basically it's going to come through here. So I said, yes, of course. So it does say this could work well for both of us. Looking forward to your reply. Best of luck. Profitably yours, Joe Smith, CEO. So that's what we're looking at right in front of us that has been built it's here it's ready to go now the other thing i found out do in contact with joe is that the island because we weren't sure about when we people were coming back um was as i'd originally thought a seasonal operation so when the bad weather came you know and people would move off island go back to the mainland and they would come back here, use it as a kind of a plantation, I guess, in the better weather in the summer. So the few different bits of distribution centre. But the island is owned by one person. And that person won't be returning because unfortunately that person has sadly passed away. And there's no family to inherit. So at the moment it's kind of sat. Is it called is it in probate? It's sat because there's no one to, to take it on. So for me, I've got to worry about people coming back and taking over the island, but we now have contact with people. So I've got some scope now for what I could do. I've still got trees I can cut down, I can still make money doing my lumber, and now we've got the trading centre, we can sell our lumber offshore, that can go off elsewhere, so there's nothing dicey about it. I've still got my lumber mill, stuff like that. What I am going to do while I'm doing this is, I'm, I was intending to, once I've got the new plough, extend this field. Not massively, kind of square it up a little bit, just make it a little bit easier to work. Not that there's anyone to work it, but, you know. Potentially, as I said right off the word go with this, it was going to be, can we get it up and running? 
can we encourage people back to the islands? Now where I'm going to go with it, I'm not too sure. I haven't really decided yet either, because I was thinking, having watched and spoken to Bear and Papa recently, watching what he did on Spectacle Island, I kind of really liked that idea of setting it up as a as like a holiday destination, campground, getaway, retreat type sort of thing. And I thought what we could do, and again, this is just putting it out there as an idea. I can carry on doing what I'm doing, so I can keep myself ticking over. But I thought we could maybe build some log cabins. We could look at... Oh, that's going to be a problem. Those trees. So I suppose cut them down. Go to about there, because that does bulge out a little bit. Um, yeah, I thought we could make some log cabins. Maybe if we can get, depending on finances, a couple of quad bikes or something delivered, golf, golf carts, something like that. So people can move around the island a bit more freely. I did even think about making a little golf course. Because we've got the sand and stuff, we could make bunkers. So you could have a little mini golf course, just a few holes or something maybe. Again, all just ideas I'm throwing out there. I'm, I'm not quite sure, like I say, where I'm going to go with it yet. We can go to the lime picks. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to... Yeah. Uh, Ploughed, it's going to need liming. Turn the lime off. Yeah, we need to lime it and fertilise it. So that's you know that's where I'm at at the moment. I can have this, this door. So anyway, what I'm going to do for the rest of this episode is I'm going to plough this out. Probably get my little lime spreader on it and some fertilising done. Now you don't need to watch me do that constantly. But the next job I've got is going to be using this. This is my bigger tractor now on the island. I'm going to prep hay. Uh, we've got the loading wagon that we got delivered in the last uh, delivery. So I'll have the ingredients I need for making salt mix rations. So that's what I'm doing. I'll be prepping for the cows to arrive in the next delivery. I might go off and do some more lumber. What are we looking for financially? Yeah, 55 grand. That's not easy pretty low so yeah I mean I've, I've wanted to get back on here for absolutely ages and I'm kind of I've been umming and ahhing what to do with it where to go with it as I've mentioned on my spectacle island and stuff at the moment as well I've really been torn and thinking about going back to six ashes and doing a bit on there but I'm also thinking you know on the run up to FS22 coming out I want to I was thinking about starting a new map. I thought about doing a tally of demo because I, I loved that when I did the map tour on that map. So I don't know. I And this is, well, it kind of takes me a little bit back to the narrative, which I do like. And I felt I needed a break from it. And I have had a break from it. And then the last couple of episodes doing Spectacle, I've kind of missed the storytelling, you know? And I think with all the stuff coming out over Farmcom with FS22 and looking at all the potential that's going to be there for when the new game comes out, of, of things I could do and stories I could tell, and, you know, with all the production change and all the stuff that's going to be available, it just made me kind of think, oh, I really want to, I want to do some more, you know? I want to do some more of that. So... I'm also, I'm toying with it, but I've got a funny feeling, seeing how the channel has developed and subscriber base has increased since the last time I did one, I was going to do a subscriber contract series, but I know I'm going to get swamped, I mean absolutely swamped, and the problem is I don't want to offend or upset anyone, I've said it before when I do subscriber contracts, I can't do all of them. And I will do. I will pick and choose the ones that fit the kind of the direction I want to go with the story. Um, what I've always found is the people that adapt the best to that will watch what I'm doing on an episode and submit job offers or things they want done that they have got a feeling is already going to fit what I'm doing. If you know what I mean, then you always get people that will randomly just give you a strange job out of you know real left field sort of thing. And it's, that's a lot harder to tie in if you're doing this sort of storyline. I don't know. Again, just ideas. Just chucking them out there. 
Um, these Lucas Island ones, the next three, maybe four, will be slightly shorter. <laughs> yeah, we've all heard that before, haven't we? Honestly, Gov, they will be. Because I, I need to get some more seeding done, some more planting done. And much as I don't, I, I don't mind spending hours and hours with the little two meter gear that I've got, in order for me to kind of move forward and progress with any kind of you know, what I'm doing on here, if I need it to move forward, I'm going to need to get something a little bit bigger. Not ridiculously big, obviously. This is only, uh, what, it's not even 200 horsepower, is it? I can't remember. What is this one? Where's my garage? 202. So, yeah, it's, it's you know, we're not going to get away with something massive. That still looks lovely. I was going to see if I could get another one like it, because there was a, was it white? It was along those lines that looked very nice too. It just kind of works. The fact it pulls this plough as well is an absolute bonus. So, I'm going to see you in a minute when I'm, I'll just get the liming done. And then I've got enough grass left around what I've done. All the rest of this island is all grass, pretty much, to get some hay done. And then we'll get the loading wagon, we'll get it picked up. That's interesting, that really struggling is it? And then I've got my ingredients, and I'll be good to go for cows. We've got our little water container, so we can do the water for them. Honestly, I can't remember how many cows that will hold. We'll have to see. Um, I was offered a couple and that's all, to be honest with you, that's all I really need. I don't, you know, as long as I get some milk, I guess if we do decide to go down that route of making it a little bit more of a kind of holiday destination, build some little cabins and get some golf trolleys and that whole, you know, not necessarily for a golf course, but so people can go around the island and just enjoy it. That kind of experience that island life you know have a couple of little fire pits people go out to the lookout island and spend the evenings and i'm not talking about building restaurants and complete infrastructure or anything like that but and if i do that then maybe i will need some more cows because people are going to need essentials aren't they you know when you go to campsites and stuff like that you always have a little camp shop that has things like eggs and milk and all the bits that you need to get going so you can make yourself a fry up in the morning Nothing like it. The way did I leave my other one? So my little fence. Now has that got lime in it? What's that got in it? Is that lime or fertilizer? Fertilizer, I've only got 181. That's a lot more than 181 millimeters. What I'll do is spread this first. Oh, I've missed this. Why does that... Oh, it's... I was going to say that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Get one load on it, we get it limed, and then we should get another one. Um, and then we're good to go. I suppose that thing as well is, if I've got whatever crops I'm doing, I have potatoes I can sell. But then off the back of the old Clarkson's farm stuff, I suppose I can't keep them indefinitely, can I? They will start to rot. I will start to have problems. This fertilizer is going a lot further than I thought it was going. That's something I'm probably going to need to do is order some more. I can't remember how much I've got pallet wise left because I did order some. Let's have a quick check how we're looking. Let's turn the lime off. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Well, we're looking a little bit better anyway. So, lime's my next port of call. Let's go and get that. 
So yeah, I'm looking forward to working with Joe, that's going to be nice, we can get a few things sorted out there. I, just, I need to extend out, I still have got a couple of little islands to explore, I'm not sure what sort of stuff I might come across. I will need to speak to the uh, equipment fairy and see if anything's likely to appear. Seems we haven't done this for a while. I guess I should really check in. Now lime I need to get from... Did I put any lime into storage? I can't remember now. Because so I can go to the quarry, can't I? Right, can I load that right? Let's see what... Have we got any in here? If not, I'll just go off to the... Uh, go off to the quarry and we'll get some from there. I'm sure I bought some back. I don't think it was actually under it. Yep. Cool. Yeah, so I'm just, if I can pick a little plot, what I might do is, um... Now this, did this have an update? I'm sure this had an update. I was a little bit puzzled when I came to do the little bit of work when I was building the little cow pasture, the grass texture had changed. Because when I first did all the changes on the map, when I was kind of setting everything up, you could kind of paint the grass down. That doesn't seem to be working. I guess I'm missing something obvious, but well, that spreads quite wide, doesn't it? It's a lot wider than I thought it was going to be. Wow, these things are amazing. Oh, it was the Eurospan thing, wasn't it? That's what it was. I don't want to go back and refill, but... That would have done a big chunk of it, anyway. Uh, let's put the line back on. Yeah, cool. Right, we'll do that strip, and then we might have to go and get a little bit more to do the other bit. Check a couple of bits right. So yeah, I've seen a bit and we'll get some hay made, uh, then I'll get that picked up, that stored, and then we can uh, it's just gonna be a case of waiting. I think what I might do is get a bit of lumber done, try and get the money back up. I'll get that brought over here. Actually I haven't even checked the price to see since the all in one was built. What are prices looking like for the all in one? Not too bad. Is there a wood chip price? We're not really wood chipping, but we have got a lumber sell point, so we can. I don't know how. What we'll do is we'll, I'll put a tree through the sell point at the lumber mill, the sawmill, and then I'll take a tree and we'll put it through so we can take the stuff offshore. And we'll see what happens. Now I'll get me ordering for the cedar. And the cows, obviously.
with the grass cut. It's time to win row. I need to avoid the chickens if I can. Let's drop that down. Oh no, hang on. No, 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 no. I said first. Of course I do. So I'm also thinking, I'm doing the cows. I could get, I could make myself a little sheep pasture as well, couldn't I? Because I can cut, they can just be, be fed grass. I don't have to give them hay. The hay can be for time mixed ration, but I could do a few sheep as well. That's Ted first. That's what I need to do. And I'm hoping when I ordered this, I got the right one. <laughs> This isn't a windrower as well, this is... Can I turn this on? Oh yeah, okay. Is that on the floor? There we go. Oh no. That's the cockerel. Do we want to turn the cockerel into... Sort of chopped stuff? Everyone close your eyes? Oh, he made it through the cat. That was right. I mean, got a fair speed with this. It's also nice being back to, you know, I, I've said before, having a, a bit of a gap and doing some different stuff is great. And using new machinery, bigger machinery, machinery, you know, all in one type stuff is fantastic. But there's something that feels like it's really it's not like in the end, is it? It misses to be kind of quite a way over. Yeah, still catching, uh, missing that end bit. So we have to be over a little way. I'm worried about hitting that harvester with the header anyway. Yeah, it feels like you know, kind of proper farming. I know it sounds ridiculous. Proper farming, in essence, uh, doing each task one bit at a time. So doing your cutting, then your tedding, then your wind rowing, then your collecting, rather than setting a larger tractor up with multiple bits of machinery on that does it all in one go, you know, mows, wind rows, teds, all in one go. This is a bit, it just feels a bit more pure, doesn't it? I think that's what, that's what it is. It's good for the soul. Now, the other thing I've got to consider is that I'm pretty sure the silo I've got is only a 75,000 litre, isn't it? Again, my mind's gone blank. It's been so long. Uh, why does that say 400,000 litres? Really? Or is it 100,000? Maybe it's 100,000 litres, not 75. OK, well, that's not as bad then. And what I can always do, I suppose, is fill it up and then stuff a big pile of hay somewhere. Um, I suppose I could order... Oh, you know what? I might do that. I might order a small baler. So I'd do that instead and do a whole load of small bales. I haven't done small bale work in ages. I've got my silage and I've got my straw stored away. Maybe I could do a load of it loose and if I've got any left over, bail it. That might be quite cool. Get myself a tidy little, uh, tidy little square baler and crack on. I feel very content at the moment, that's nice. It's a good thing. Now, is Spectacle Island continuing? Yes, it is, of course. I've got a few more things I want to do on there. But there was also that thing in the back of my mind when I was saying earlier about starting a new Let's Play. And the first thing my brain said to me was, but you haven't finished this one. You know, I, I don't think... I think I might have done, what was it on the 17? There was an American map that came out. It wasn't just called the American map, what was it called? And I started off on that and I did three or four episodes and then decided, you know what? I kind of explained that when I did it. But when I'm doing a storyline, 
I've said before, I, I know how frustrating it is when you're following along and you're kind of into it, for it to suddenly stop. You're like, oh, okay, it didn't end. I was always intending coming back to it. I was always coming back and, and you know, even if I do, I don't know, even if I only do another five episodes, you know, whatever it is I end up doing. But however I do it, it will kind of tie things up. I, I left it open-ended, and it was left open-ended on purpose, but... I was also fully aware that people wanted to see what was going to happen. So, yeah. so here I am. I do like these these rakes. All the details are in the description for any of the things I'm using. If you'd like to find or use a similar piece of equipment. another nice job, it's going to take a little while too, because I do actually cut a lot more, I, d I did what I always do, and when I started cutting I thought, well, I'll only cut a little bit, I've, I've only got, I, I in my head I thought I only had 75,000 litres capacity or something, uh, for storage, especially doing it loose, and I thought, oh, okay, that's not so good, I won't do as much, and I cut a bit more, and I cut a bit more, I thought, oh, I'll do this bit along here, and I thought, oh, I'll do this bit along here, you know what it's like. And before you know it, you've done you know, three times more than you ever intended. I don't know if that grass is going to grow, you know. That really did blindside me a little bit with the, uh, the landscaping textures. I'm sure I'm not missing something. Because you could just paint the grass like this. This is how I did all of this. You know, set it all up painted the grass. I know it had to grow, so I suppose what I need to do is leave that bit of time and see if it grows. Let's just hop out a second. And I'm, I'm also, I've got to be very conscious of the fact I'm, I haven't got a lot of fuel. I mean, it's not a flat texture, so maybe that will grow. Yeah, potentially. Only time to tell. I'm going to take these three trees down, I think. I do kind of like them now. I've got plenty of forestry I can do elsewhere. No, I'm going to leave them. I should just work around them. In the real world, if there are trees you have to work around, you work around them. You don't just every, every clump of trees you come to. Right, cut them down. Put them away. I don't like it. Get rid of them. There we go, that's better. Time to rest up in a minute. I had honestly as well forgotten a lot of the stuff I'd done. I, I kind of came back over and thought, wow, okay, yeah. I did that, didn't I? And I did that. And I did although have it in my head that I had already planted a load of crops. But that's why I was talking about a cedar earlier, because according to this, if I go and look at the fields that I own, I've got ploughed, I've got cultivated, I've still got those, I still have got potatoes in that one, haven't I? Um, but yeah, there's nothing actually in them, <laughs> so uh, I need to sort that out. Also, I need to start scouting for a plot. If I am going to do like log cabins, maybe over on this shore here. If I can get enough money to buy that plot, because that, you've got the causeway I've got out to the lookout place over here. So maybe you have like four or five cabins along this bit here, maybe. Again, it's an idea. Tedding complete. Now I'm going to move on to doing the windrowing slash raking. You know, it dawned on me while I was doing all of that. I'm whittering on about cows and getting all the stuff for top mix ration, whether I do it loose or I do it in bales. I haven't even got a feed mixer. 
So, uh, yeah, I'll add that to the list as well. Could probably do the feed mixer. So we'll do that. So on the moment, on the moment, at the moment, every time the uh, shipping lanes get close, I seem to have a list of things I need. We need a cedar, we need a mini baler, maybe, and a feed mixer, definitely. And possibly ask a question regarding sheep. Is that something we could organise? I haven't missed the chickens this time, that's good. Probably only just bent the rake a little bit, I'm sure it'd be fine. I don't recall the light being like this. What's it, 10.43? Where's the sun coming from? I suppose it is cloudy and overcast, isn't it? I just remember it being a lot brighter last time I was in here, but yeah, it could just be that, couldn't it? Bit of cloud. gone too far over. I seem to have real problems keeping this either of these bits of gear out the right distance. There we go. Stay out at the right nice angle and we'll be absolutely spot on. It's actually a really nice wide rake this one. This isn't the is this the standard in-game one or is this a modded one? What have I got? I can't remember. Or is it a modded? Oh, I've got all sorts of gear, anyway. Oh yeah, standard one. It's the uh, SR314, 8.5 metres. I suppose the next things to do, maybe... Oh, it's all going to need to be wind roads anyway. I was going to say what I might do is get the loading wagon out, fill up the loading wagon and see what we've got in the loading wagon. That will give me a good gauge as to how much we may have in total. But regardless, whether I'm going to put it on the loading wagon and then put it into the silo, or whether I'm going to get a mini baler and bale a load of it, still got the wind road regardless, so it really doesn't matter. How do people do this kind of work in cab? I suppose the best way to find out. Let's have a look. That's straight. Where's our rake? I need to be the corner of the windscreen. That's where I need to be. If I can keep the corner of the windscreen on the edge, I should be catching it all. Should I? Is that right? Put the edge there. I need a straight edge now, otherwise it's not going to work, is it? Let's just stop there a second. So I've got the corner there. Oh, I'm actually over by quite a bit. It's an interesting cab, isn't it? Did I go for the playmat on this one? I didn't, did I? <laughs> didn't come with the playmat. Play I have no one to take in the cab with me. That lottery wind still seems to be elusive. That one that would enable me to buy a farm in the Lake District. And I do think about that a lot actually when I was saying about um, 
thingy Hilbert is it from uh, the squad that's done it that, that would be the next evolution of my channel if I won the lottery and bought a place up in the lakes my YouTube channel would then be about me learning how to farm you know going out and getting the gear I need and I would love to do that real live farming See, being out and about, working the land. So, as before, I'm going to carry on. And then what we'll do is I'll see you back here in a bit. We'll get the loading wagon, we'll load a whole load up see where we're, where we're at uh, with the amounts and then I can gauge whether or not I've cut way too much or not enough just make sure I'm not catching the other bit we're over a fair way aren't we maybe I've gauged that wrong oh dear Tied up. Let's get the nose along there. Well, that's that job complete. So now we just find out exactly how much we've got. I am curious. It's not a very big loading wagon. It had to be one that I could pull. I can't remember what it's actually. Is it 23,000 or 13? Honestly, can't remember. There's not necessarily going to be any rhyme or reason to the, the rows I take. I'm just pick the first row, let's go for it. I'm 
just trundling along. Uh, yeah, I want to say 23,000, maybe it's only a 19. Just look at the count at the bottom. 15? No, it's got more than 15, hasn't it? Yeah. So what I'll have to ask myself, if it is 23, which it could well be, which is all, it's, <laughs> it's 23, which is almost 25. I know it's not 25, but that will be roughly a quarter of what the silo will hold. So it will give me a gauge as to, well, maybe it's not. Mm. All right, 20,000, okay, so five lots. So five times this will fill the silo. That's right, isn't it? And I've only done a little bit, so I think, yeah, I probably am going to have more than I need. Which is no bad thing. I suppose at some point I could look at getting maybe, if I can get a silo extension shipped, I could get, I could put up an extension maybe. But again, I don't know, I'm, see, I'm thinking now as well, that whole, we've got people, you know, We've got people on the island now, or say people, we've got the distribution centre, which means people are going to be there to operate the distribution centre. Is that a good thing or not? And the whole thing about, do I turn the island into a kind of tourist attraction? Do I want, do I want people spoiling my, my little bit of paradise? You know, I've been bimbling along quite happily, just doing exactly what I need to to get by. Just buying the bits or asking for bits and things have been turning up at random intervals. Do I want to spoil all that? You know how it can get, you know, when the, when the world gets a bit too people-y, you know? <laughs> oh dear, that's something that Mrs. Sidney said frequently. Especially with all the lockdown stuff. You come out of lockdown and you go somewhere for the first time, having been kind of a bit of cabin fever to be fair. But everywhere is just a bit peopley, you know? You feel kind of claustrophobic and there's lots of noise. And whilst to some degree that's nice because it's some semblance of normality, but then I think a lot of it, you then feel a little bit... Not annoyed, that's the wrong word. I don't know, it's hard to explain, isn't it? Does anyone else feel that? Or is everyone just happy to be back out and about and around people again? I like the idea of people. <laughs> and we'll go with that. And all honesty, somebody did message me uh, recently. Oh, who was it? It was to do with going to the Kent show. And unfortunately, they, they postponed it to next year now. It was supposed to be July. Not well, July, we? around now. Might have been last weekend. Um, but obviously, with all the, the current problems. And all so, they think they've postponed it to next year. And a few of my you know, sort of long-term subscribers and people I chat to quite a lot, and some people again, it's that who people like who I consider to be friends, who who weirdly I've never met. You know, it, it's odd, isn't it? How that happens. And the guys that set up my Discord server for me and that kind of thing. And there was a comment put in the chat about wouldn't it be great one day to just all be able to get together for a pint? You know, just to go somewhere. I'd love to do that. Sit in a pub garden with like-minded people. You know. People that subscribe to the channel, people that have been following me for a long time, or haven't been, you know, just meet up with fans and subscribers and people that like the game to be able to chat. Like I was saying in my in my spectacle video when I said about all the stuff to do with uh, FS22 and all the FarmCon information, just to be able to sit down and talk to other people that think and feel the same way, to discuss ideas, and yeah, I'd like that. I mean, As long as it wasn't too peeply.
we could end up doing something really weird here and do it perfectly so we end up with five loads and we actually haven't got much left mind you that said there's all this to do if we do that would be perfect so oh no mind the chickens mind the chickens i've got a load of um, eggs that need to be sold as well maybe i'll bring those out and put them through the distribution center we'll send them off i'll keep some for me obviously but i have got an entire pallet's worth and that's more than i can eat Right, well after doing all this then, I'm going to have to get on with some more forestry. So, yeah, forestry. If I do some more forestry, because I need to get my money up, if I'm going to buy some more gear, if I'm going to get a seeder and a feed mixer and potentially a mini baler, I might do the mini baler thing anyway. I just fancy doing a load of mini bales. Don't know why. I think it might be quite nice. Uh, let's have a double check just to make sure everything's as we think it is. Hmm. I've got 70,000 litres of straw. I thought I had more than that. 40,999. Now, is that 100,000 with... Oh, hang on. Is that a combined total? Because I've got that... Oh, no, mind you, no, because it's saying it for silage and for... Yeah, for everything. Must be. Oh, you know what? I don't know why... Not. I'm having one of those days, aren't I? Why don't I just check? What one have I got? Yeah, there you go. Grain silo. Oh, that's why there's all that combined. Because that double one is over on one of the other islands. So that and that's 300,000 litres. Where's that? Is that with those two? I can't, I can't remember. That's why it's saying 400,000 litres total. I'm pretty sure this is the last load we're going to get in here. We're up to 82,000, so four loads at 2,500. Yeah, it would be. So we're not going to get all of this in. I don't know whether to leave the rest on the floor, whether to pick it up, yeah. Whether to pick it up. It's good, we've got 100,000 litres, that's brilliant. Yeah, whether to pick it up or leave it on the ground. The grass will grow back through it, but I can still... I suppose the only problem with small bales will disappear in the grass and it'll be hard to find to pick up but if I put it in a massive pile then I can't really bale it can I? If only I thought ahead the other thing I mentioned a while back wasn't it was building a log shelter for putting my grass work stuff in so maybe out here somewhere maybe not the chicken side maybe that side putting a log shelter in so build one just to put some gear under the weather's normally pretty good, but just in case it pours with rain. So we have actually got a fair amount left. So baling would be an interesting way to do it. So with all of this over here, I did all the, right, the stuff around past the cows, all over the uh, over that far side. So it is really all this stuff in this section, and then a couple, two, was it two, three strips that run out to the edge there, and that's it. That's everything. I'm thinking, do I want to leave this full with hay? That would be fine if I had sheep, but I haven't. I suppose something I could do, I'm not going to do, is turn that off. Let's go forward. Why is that? And what I'll do is unload. So that's the bit I had in there. Should <laughs> Why did I do it there? Could have done it all over here. So now we're good for baling. So that's what I'm, I'm definitely going to get a small baler. We'll get some small baling done. I've got these bits to put into a shelter. The plough can go back over the rest of the stuff. Whoops, I should have stopped first before turning the engine off, I think. Oh. 
the other problem I've got is most of my gear, when we get over to where the, my cabin is, oh, it's filthy. I mean, you look at the, uh, the... To be fair, that's not too bad, the fence. The harvest is horrendous. We've got any more eggs? Oh, yeah, we've got some more egg boxes there. Nice. Eggs box 360. Yeah, look at the state of that. Looks like it's rusting away. So I need to work out some way of washing stuff. These are both full. Actually, they're probably fermented by now, aren't they? Let me just... It's been a while, hasn't it? One might be, the other one might not. Open silo. Don't know what, I don't want to open it yet. I don't want to expose it. Oh yeah, both of them. Brilliant stuff. And these were 70 odd thousand litres, so we got plenty. I think when I do the next lot of planting or seeding, I'm going to do a field of wheat or barley. Yeah, because I, I've got a huge amount of straw. I thought I had more than that. 70,000 litres of that, about 140,000 litres of silage, 100,000 litres plus whatever we get bales there. Maybe I can do some small bales of straw as well. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I'm glad to be back. And the ideas are bubbling away again. I'm thinking, well, what, yeah, what's next? What can I do? Where can I go? I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're glad I'm back too. For however many episodes I end up doing, we shall see. If you have enjoyed it, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.